Uh, Rich and I have been at the State House all day. That's where a committee gutted that bill. And he joins us now live with a look at what the changes are. Rich? So Anne Marie and Scott, we still have legislation for in, or legislation for inflation relief moving forward in both the House and the Senate. But those bills, as they passed last week in their original chamber, have now been completely changed. In fact, they've been amended to read like their counterpart bills. So Republican lawmakers are still trying to negotiate some way to help your budget by the end of this week. The Senate Tax and Fiscal Policy Committee stripped House Bill 1001 Wednesday morning and inserted the language from two Senate bills passed last week before sending the amended bill onto the full Senate. That there is no nefarious motive on our part to do anything but to keep the legislation moving forward. Uh, but we are in the midst of negotiating with the House. The day before, the House Ways and Means Committee pulled the same legislative maneuver on Senate Bill 2. So both chambers are sticking with their original plans for inflation relief. The Senate plan calls for a temporary cap on the gas use tax rate, a six month suspension of utility sales tax, and provides $45 million for the establishment of the Hoosiers Families First Fund. The House plan centers on a $225 automatic taxpayer refund, also provides $58.5 million to specific programs for women and families, and exempts children's diapers from sales tax. House Republicans are determined that any relief package needs to include a direct check to Hoosiers. Each individual family can determine where they need their relief, and that's why I like the automatic taxpayer refund. Some families will use it for school books, some families will use it for clothing, some families will use it for gas, some families will use it for grocery shopping. The House meets tomorrow morning. The Senate meets tomorrow afternoon. Both chambers will consider amendments to these inflation relief packages and perhaps begin to find some kind of compromise that incorporate, incorporates parts of both plans. And so I'll be back here tomorrow as well. <laughs> All right, the work continues. Uh, thanks so much, Real. Rich. So let's recap what's happening at the State House tomorrow. The House will debate Senate Bill 1 at 9 a.m. This is the abortion bill. The House of Reps will consider amendments, debate, and then vote on those amendments. And the House also plans to do a second reading of Senate Bill 1. Then starting at 1.30 tomorrow afternoon, the Senate will consider the financial relief package and funding for women and children. 13 News, as you, as you just heard Rich say, they're going to be there all day to monitor all the progress and potential changes to both of these bills.